Hey look, it's a tournament graph, a directed graph with exactly one arc between each pair of vertices. We've talked a bit about tournament graphs, transitive tournaments, and did a fun proof. I'll leave links to all that stuff in the description. Today, we've got another fun tournament proof. I've labeled the vertices of this tournament with their out degrees. You may notice that these two vertices are the vertices of maximum out degree in this tournament. Then we may ask, what's the distance between, say, this maximum out degree vertex and all the other vertices in the graph? Certainly, the distance is one to the vertices that it's adjacent to. What about the distance to the one vertex it's not adjacent to? That distance isn't one, but it's pretty close. It's just two in this case. How about this other maximum out degree vertex? What's the distance between it and the other vertices of the graph? Again, that distance will be one for the vertices that it's adjacent to. But what about this one vertex it's not adjacent to? Again, although that distance isn't one, it's not much more, it's just two. And this is true in general, which is what we'll prove today. Let U be a vertex of maximum out degree in a tournament T. Then the distance between that vertex of maximum out degree and any other vertex in the tournament is less than or equal to two. Let's get rid of this tournament and get to work. I encourage you to give this proof a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson. It's pretty straightforward. We'll basically be backing our result into a corner until we've got it exactly where we want it and then we'll be done. Hopefully you've given it a try or at least thought a bit about it. Let's start the proof. We'll start by giving things some names. We're assuming that U is our vertex of maximum out degree. So that means it's adjacent to the most vertices among any vertices in the graph. Let's call the vertices that U is adjacent to V1 through Vn. This means that the maximum out degree, the out degree of U, is equal to N, since it's adjacent to N vertices. Now, if there are no other vertices in the tournament, then we're done because U is adjacent to every vertex on the tournament and thus the distance between U and all those vertices is one and the distance between U and itself is zero, so we would have proven our result. And in fact, that's what it would look like in a transitive tournament graph. There's one vertex of maximum out degree in a transitive tournament, and that vertex is adjacent to every other vertex in the tournament. So again, if these are all the vertices in the tournament, then we're done. So we can move forward assuming that there are some vertices not accounted for here. So we'll say the vertices adjacent to U are W1, W2, all the way through some last vertex WM. Remember, this is a tournament graph, so if there are some vertices other than U that U is not adjacent to, those vertices have to be adjacent to U, since there is exactly one arc between every pair of vertices. So if U isn't adjacent to them, then they are adjacent to U. All right, remember, we already know the distance between U and itself is zero. The distance between U and all of these vertices it's adjacent to is one. Both of those numbers are less than or equal to two. So all we have left to do is to prove that the distance between U and these vertices that are adjacent to U, we have to prove those distances are also less than or equal to two. In graph theory, diagrams can be super helpful. So here's a diagram of our current situation. We've got our maximum out degree vertex U in the middle, the vertices it's adjacent to in green, and the vertices adjacent to it in blue. Of course, there are a bunch of arcs here that we're not drawing since this is a tournament, so there's an arc between every pair of vertices. Some that we might be interested in are the ones between the V vertices and the W vertices. What can we say about those arcs? Well, let's see. Let's take an arbitrary vertex among those that are adjacent to U. So if we can prove that the distance between U and this arbitrary vertex WJ is less than or equal to two, we'll be done. 
Again, since this is a tournament, we know there is an arc between every pair of vertices, including the V's and W's. Now, if one of those arcs is going from some vertex VI to our arbitrary WJ vertex, well then, we would have a path of length 2 from U to that VI and then to WJ. Again, here it is written out, if there's some vertex VI that is adjacent to our vertex WJ, so VI WJ is an element of the directed edge set, then going from U to VI to that vertex WJ is a U WJ path of length 2, and that is a distance less than or equal to 2. So in that case, we are done. If our arbitrary vertex here, WJ, is adjacent from any of these V vertices, then we've got our path and we've proven that the distance is less than or equal to two. Then the only remaining possibility is that WJ is not adjacent from any of these V vertices. If WJ isn't adjacent from any of these vertices, then since this is a tournament, it has to be adjacent to all of those vertices. So what can we say? If this situation happens, like we said, we're done. Otherwise, WJ is adjacent to all of these vertices. So then what can we say about the out degree of WJ? Well, by definition, the W vertices are precisely the vertices that are adjacent to U. So that contributes one to the out degree of WJ, it's adjacent to U. But again, like we said, if it doesn't fall under this case, then it's also adjacent to all of the V vertices. How many of those are there? Well, there are N of them. So add another N to the out degree. And that's a contradiction, because that's greater than the out degree of U, which was assumed to be the maximum out degree, right? Remember, U was defined to be a vertex of maximum out degree. It has an out degree of N. And we just saw that if there are vertices that this argument doesn't take care of, then those vertices have an out degree greater than the maximum out degree. That can't be. Thus, any of these WJ vertices must be adjacent from at least one of these VI vertices. And so we'll always have that path of length 2 from U to any of these vertices. Thus, if U is a vertex of maximum out degree in a tournament T, whether the vertex is U, a vertex that U is adjacent to, or vertex that is adjacent to U, the distance between U and that vertex is less than or equal to two.